unfortunately, a lot of people just decide to sit it out and just let them work it out. That's not the way it's done, folks. Remember, just because you cast a ballot doesn't mean that you don't have more work to be done. You got work to do. All right. So you got to say to the person next to you, you got work to do. Did he just say it? All right. Now you're talking to the radio. That's weird. All right. Al Gore, the guy who, remember, brought us the Internet in the 90s, the Internet. He brought us the World Wide Web. He discovered it. Um, I think about the same year, global warming, global, global warming, Al Gore. He discovered it. But he's basically he's fighting the good fight here. So President Al Gore on stage. Um, nice picture of him. He said that the fight against global warming was just like the great moral causes in history, like abolishing slavery or the civil rights crusades of the 1960s. Now, he made all these comments in a speech at the Eco City World Summit in Melbourne, Australia. He says the climate movement uh, is right now in the tradition of all the great moral causes that have improved the circumstances of humanity throughout our history. The uh, well, we got rid of slavery, women's suffering, and women's rights. We we worked hard for that. The civil rights movement and the anti-apartheid movement in South Africa. He continued. He went on. The late Nelson Mandela even cantered up his name, said it was always impossible until it was done. The movement to stop the toxic phase of the nuclear arms race and the more recently the gay rights movement. Some of you may, some of you, he caught himself. He said, some of you may disagree with that. I don't, he said. I did earlier in my life. But all of these movements have one thing in common, he explained. They all have met with ferocious resistance and have generated occasional feelings of despair for those who knew the right direction and wondered whether we could ever get there. All right, Alba Gore. Uh, I don't know what to make uh, of civil rights and gay rights and, and global warming and to be able to interlude those things together. And even one sentence, I feel kind of weirded out even reading it. But this is the mind of Al Gore mesh everything in together but this is a leftist thing they love to just pan everything in and it's kind of interesting how we put gaze into this whole equation of of global warming and that phenomenon and that's right it's right and that and it, it would be nice if we actually had accurate information it would be nice if you actually um subscribe to what even nasa says on nasa.gov about changes that happen on the earth uh, how it goes up and it goes down sometimes we get hurricanes sometimes we don't sometimes it's hot sometimes it's cold now, there's no doubt about it, it's burning up baby this summer it's hot it's warm but not every year has been this way some decades are not as hot some are mm. very good coffee by the way i uh, got a good deal on house blend Starbucks coffee, a good deal. And of all places, it's kind of weird to order coffee. It was kind of probably funny for somebody to drop the box off at my office. But from ba uh, Bath Body and beyond, Bed Bath, yeah, I, there was some kind of deal on coffee there, and you can have it shipped in. I didn't go into the store. They don't. I don't think they sell coffee. I think it's bubble bath and perfumes, and they have man body wash in there I, that I'm pretty fond of. I kind of like it. I know I'm letting you know I'm kind of metro sexual metrosexual do you know what that is your, your guy takes you know, better care of himself than he probably should but ladies you appreciate it let your guy be metrosexual all right don't be offended by the term and, and you might be a metrosexual let me kind of clarify what metrosexual means you want to know what it means metrosexual you shave the nose hairs out of your nose uh you don't have uh, a mile long uh hair extensions coming out of your ears you actually shave them okay you went to brookstone and you bought yourself an ear shaver and nose shaver all right you make sure that you don't have mild thick eyebrows you kind of tame them down once you get the barber you ask him to shave it down um, you don't have hangnails that are a mile long coming out of your nails you, you, you trim your toenails occasionally maybe once or twice a year 
All right, so <laughs> I know that's that's what you call a mentor. It's a guy who takes care of himself. Now you got a new term. You didn't hear the term, didn't know the term. Now you have a term. Say, honey, you got to become metrosexual. And we're not calling you homosexual. We're calling you metrosexual. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a guy who takes care of himself. I'll, I'll never forget. I, I run into a lot of people because I do a lot of work for folks. I write, you know, commercials for folks and all that. They'll sit in my studio. And uh, this guy wanted me to give him some marketing, marketing, and marketing. Let's just slow down here for a second. Marketing advice for his voiceover company because he wanted to get out there and he wanted to take a picture of himself. And he had a bunch of hair coming out of his nose and his ears. Very visible. Very visible. Okay. And I checked mine immediately after he left to make sure that I didn't have anything going on. But I always check. But he told me that he could not dare to think about cutting the nose hair or the ear hair out of his ears because his lady friends would not like that. They felt that it was very manly. Now, a lot of these lady friends of his are from the UK. So I'm not sure if that's a groovy thing in the UK to have those things going on. I understand the dental, a uh, little lapse there. You have some decay going on there, a little coloring you know, issues going on. That's, 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 they don't mind, you know, you're not going to the dentist, but everything else, uh, I guess, could fall by the wayside, too. But I was like, OK, really? I said, but for PR st- standpoint, you may want to just consider it for the photo op. No, no, no. I'd rather leave it in because it's me. I'm Dr. Dr. Lamb. That's what he called himself. And he was an LLC. <laughs> I think he's over the UK now uh, for real. But uh, interesting thing, take good care of yourself and make a resolution early. Um, you don't have to wait till New Year's to uh, to not buy. Yes, yeah, nose trimmer for sure. Become a metrosexual and don't buy into all the hype of Al Gore's uh, inconvenient truth. Uh, the same guy who flies over to Australia in a jet and uh, that ain't propelled by solar panels, folks. Okay not riding a bicycle he uh, has a huge detail with him that's using the combustible engine uh, if he was really so concerned he'd actually have his whole fleet of people that travel with him and his entourage would actually be using hybrid engines don't you think if you're really trying to go green and make an impact now now it's inconvenient for him to even think that way but you got to lead by example I mean, shoot, you know, if you're like a pastor in the church and you're not living it yourself and you're living in all debauchery on the world, you expect your followers to follow you and to live in a righteous life or something of the sort. Come on, folks. That's just common sense. That's just me thinking. I mean, is it just me? Or do I have other common sense folks out there that believe the same thing? Yeah, on a hot day, I say, man, maybe global warming. But then I say, you know what? They did discover the air conditioner, and I'm very, very happy about that. We'll be back with more For the People, folks. Don't go away. We'll help you survive this thing called life. We're for the people. 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 It's unlike anything you've ever been through in your life, man. I was driving. This uh, kid threw a grenade at us and went right over our vehicle. It was 12 years old. The shockwave went through my head, rattled up my brain, and left. Danger is around you 360 degrees at all times, and you can't unlearn that. It's impossible to describe the sacrifices these men and women have made to protect our freedoms. And the job of rebuilding their lives is massive and growing every day. Many will need the programs offered by the Wounded Warrior Project for years to come. I didn't know what PTSD was. All I knew was I was having nightmares. And when I got released, my reintegration was, go check in at the VA, man. My first coping mechanism was use drugs. Just numb it. Don't feel anything. I was angry. I'm trying to pull myself out of that right now. Your gift today of $19 per month will honor and empower these veterans so they can aid and assist each other. The Wounded Warrior Project is a life raft 
I can say this without question that I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for it. The Women Warrior Project is, is the first step getting back out into the world and reforming yourself outside of the service. Call or go online with a pledge of $19 a month. You'll receive this Wounded Warrior Project blanket and your gift will provide critically needed programs that rebuild lives. That was my first feeling of actually being a part of something bigger than myself again. Well, I lost a few really close friends overseas, and if I quit, I'm going to let them down, and I'm not about to do that. I'm learning to face my fears head on. To trust and see what happens at the end. It's a long process, but I had the drive and desire. Please, call or go online with your gift right now. Some things in life need a little attention. Like a plant. If not watered, it begins to turn brown. But if watered properly, its leaves turn green again. Like a plant, For the People needs watering too. Your thoughtfulness provides sustainability for us to grow and reach our full potential. You see, For the People depends on you to broadcast this program to help inform and educate folks so you can make a difference right where you are. Grab your watering can and join us as we endeavor to make a difference in people's lives each and every day. To donate, go to ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com. Just look for the watering can and water as much as you can. At For The People, our garden is full of opportunities, and planting something allows others to enjoy the benefits. At For The People, our mission is simple. Give you the news that matters with good old-fashioned common sense, mixed with a conservative point of view. Simply log on to our website at ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com. Thanks for your support. Get ready, get set for 123 Ready TV, the brand new app that everyone's talking about for your PC or Android device that allows you access to most every movie or TV show ever made. Sound incredible? Well, it is, because once you pay $19.99, that's all you pay. Just the movies and TV shows you like without the hassle. The internet streams everything already. What 123 Ready does is it finds them, then delivers them directly to you, commercial free. There is nothing quite like it, and it's available now at ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com. And before you buy 123 Ready TV, watch the video and see how simple it is to start watching all those movies and TV shows. If you like movies and TV shows, but don't enjoy paying for all of them, no problem. Just pay $19.99 and start enjoying countless titles and entertaining TV better than anyone. Get your 123 Ready TV for $19.99 at ForThePeopleShow.com. Just click on the store page. Your daily dose of common sense live throughout the USA and around the world at ForThePeopleShow.com and radio stations coast to coast. You can find us on Facebook, too, by the way, at For the People Show and on Twitter. If you're not tweeting, you should. You can just do a free Twitter account and tweet, tweet, tweet all you want. And uh, believe me, if you uh, miss, you know, one hour of the program, you miss a lot, but you can keep up on social media and you can get alerts and things like that on Twitter as well. And talk to Keith Allen, talk to Keith Allen, hashtag. I have my own hashtag, my very own hashtag, and I'm moving on up, which is cool. And I used to have a personal Twitter account, but you know, I need one for the, the broadcast, you know, to kind of keep me mainstream which is uh it's a good thing sebastian gorka uh he's in the white house he's a big wig you know uh, on the staff the white house staff advising the president he's been on this broadcast several times and he's uh he's defending the president i think it's a good thing that he does and uh, he's making the point that donald trump has more than 100 million social media followers so we don't we don't need the politically driven mainstream media and he's a deputy assistant, by the way. That's why I say he's a big, big wig. He is. He's deputy assistant, Sebastian Gorka. He is uh, right to call it fake news. CNN, watch uh, Fake News Network. This is FNN, the Fake News Network. I mean, I, I would be more than happy to redo their voice work for them. And I, I would even try, you know, James Earl. This is FNN. I mean, I could do it. I mean, we could do a number number of takes, and we could just get it down. But uh, I just love how uh, smart people and Gorka, this guy is just brilliant. He's not doing this. He's not just a do boy. He's just not a political hack. Somebody to get in there. This guy loves this country, cares about his con- our country. This guy is super knowledgeable. 
especially jihad, especially things going on in the Middle East, 